During his young hockey career, Matt Cerisio had hit the boards countless times. But three and a half weeks ago, it was different. A clean hit sent him off balance, and in a split second, the high school senior was paralyzed from the waist down. Tonight, for the first time, we're going to hear from Matt's parents. They invited our Joanne Purden to the hospital so we could see how Matt is doing right now and so they could say thank you for the unending support for their son. So much support out there, you guys. You know, what I saw when I visited Matt and his family last Friday is a strong kid. He's clearly a fighter, and he's got a community that extends across the country fighting with him. I just love it. Yeah, I really then, treasure it. If there's a typical hospital room, this isn't it. The well wishes for Matt Cerisho cover walls, hockey sticks, and jerseys. And then there's the giant cardboard cutout of Chris Berman. A friend brought that to make Matt laugh. Because Matthew watches ESPN, like, all the time. Yeah. Laughing isn't always easy, though, these days. I visited with Matt last Friday, just three weeks after his life was turned upside down. This 17-year-old senior from Catholic Central High School was playing with a Michigan All-Star team October 4th when he was going full speed down the ice, took a shot and a hit, and slammed into the boards. His mom and dad saw it happen. Did he know something was seriously wrong right from the beginning? Immediately. He broke his back right now. I yeah. knew Matt broke his back. I knew Matt was... Immediately. Matt he screamed my legs. He knew. He said, I can't move my legs. I was right there. I heard him scream, I can't move my legs. I knew how hard he hit the board that, that his back was broke. Matt was rushed to Botsford Hospital, where an x-ray confirmed what they already knew. He broke his back in two places. He was paralyzed from the waist down, and seven hours of surgery couldn't repair the damage. The doctor came in and he said, he just, Matt asked him to square out. He said, am I going to walk? Mm -hmm. The doctor said no, and he just, just weeped. Matt began playing hockey when he was just six years old. He quickly became a star player, a strong competitor with the strong will that characterized his childhood. One his mom says will serve him well now. From when you were so young, you were just a fighter. And you're gonna fight now, and you're gonna keep fighting for what you want. So if you wanna go on, and you wanna have a good life, then fight for it. That's it. And that he's doing, fighting hard each day in physical therapy at Mott Children's Hospital at U of M, working to regain his balance and strength in his upper body. The physical therapist is just amazed on how hard he pushes himself. But even before he was well enough to begin therapy, Matt was planning his future. His dreams dashed of playing in the junior hockey league next year. The first thought that came to his mind was, now I'm going to college, now I'm moving on, and that's my new focus and he needed to switch a couple courses up. Matt was too tired and hurting from his therapy to do an interview, but he told me his goal is to work as hard as he can to get out of the hospital, to get home, back to school, and back to his team, he says. His teammates and friends lift his spirits each day. Just to see same old Matt, because that's who he is. And for last time I was here, that's who I saw. It was great. And other support surrounds him. This banner is signed by everyone at Catholic Central. No stranger to tragedy. This signed Red Wings jersey, hand delivered by Mike Babcock, who's visited a number of times. That hockey stick, Phoenix Coyote player and Catholic Central alum David Moss brought that. The San Jose Sharks management team visited Matt when they were in town, and tweets have come in from around the NHL, sending prayers and wishing Matt well. And at his house, volunteers and businesses from the Catholic Central community are hard at work, expanding his home to make a first floor bedroom for Matt. And now a major fundraiser, a benefit for Matt on center ice, is being planned at CompuWare on November 20th. We're just overwhelmed by everybody's love, their prayers, their support. And um, it's just been really wonderful, and that's really what's gotten us through every day. Mm -hmm. That and their strong Christian faith. Matt's mom wears the saint of the spine around her neck, given to her by a Catholic Central family she recently met. In the meantime, as Matt looks forward, he's hoping to be a Spartan next year. The hockey team's coach visited him recently and said he's got a place for him on the team. Still on a road, but just on a different one. Just yes. just, his path just turned a little bit. He's, he's still going to be there. This is just his latest opponent. Yes, yeah. that he'll be. Exactly, yeah. It's hope.
that Matt will be home from the hospital by Thanksgiving. And if he's up to it before then, he may be able to attend that big fundraiser I mentioned. It's being held at Compuware Ice Arena in Plymouth on Wednesday evening, November 20th. You can find out more about that event and how you can support Matt and his family at our website right now at WXYZ.com. Oh, so good that he has that Catholic Center family oh, like rallying so around people. him and then people are across the nation really reaching out to him. The doctor said he's not going to walk, but I'm, I'm going to guess he's not going to give up trying. No, not at all. And as a matter of fact, the doctor at U of M did say that I talked to that they hope within a year that with special braces that he'll be able to put some weight on his legs and then use crutches and different things to kind of pull himself forward. And, and or you whatnot. know he'll do so, that. Oh, he'll do it with the spirit he has. There's not a doubt in my mind he'll accomplish that. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. With his family support and the community support. Yeah, good story, Joanne. Thanks, Joanne.